Hi FlossTube, it's Megan, Frozen Crafter, and it is Tuesday, August 8th. Um, I am back from Missouri from the Camp Black Needle Society retreat. Uh, this year it was carnival themed, and I had the most amazing time. Um, if Frogwarts <laughs> was the retreat where all I did was stitch, this was the retreat where I hardly stitched at all. Um, so not a ton to show, but I have a few things to, that I did stitch on and start. Um, first, this is the bag I got, um, for winning Frogwarts and it was packed so full with, um, a lot of goodies. So thank you, Black Mule Society, Katie and Laura for that. Um, and I just love it. It's so awesome. Okay, so immediately what I am seeing is my sort of new start. Okay, so I am doing these um, little baby samplers. I think I've already shown some of them for my nieces and nephew. So this is one of them. I decided after the fact to put the date or like the year at the top, so I still need to do that for hers. So for Scarlet, I had previously done this one on purple picture this plus, but I didn't like, like it was completely done. Um, but I just kept looking at it and I really didn't like how it blended in. The pink variegated wasn't really strong it wasn't the tone wasn't stronger than the purple of the fabric so it blended in so i started it again on this fabric i don't i want to say this is like fractal or something maybe from um i feel like it's a forbidden fiber um so it's still the uh so they're all quirky quakers so Tallulah is the hedgehog and baby Wes is the uh, is Bigfoot, and so Scarlet is the unicorn. And I've been using um, from Live and Die LA, Cat uh, from Cat Can Sew. She uh, works there and dyed her own color, and this is what she passed out to all of us at retreat. And it is the most perfect color. Um, so. That was, that was perfect. Okay, so that's one thing I'm working on. What else? Okay, so next one, I started Lady of the Flag. So super exciting. Now this one was a bit of an interesting start and journey. So initially, I bought the primitive hair 30 count um, constitution fabric that was made for Lady of the Flag. Okay, see, holding it up, it looks so pretty. I mean, it is pretty, it's very pretty. Um, problem is, is that I'm not the biggest linen fan and I don't, stitch all that much on linen. I will stitch big, big projects and nice projects on linen. Um, this linen, however, is kind of that, um, there's different types of linen. There's like this linen, which is kind of like a wiry feel. And then there is, um, hold on, let me grab it from, it's on my Lowry. And then there's, um, this type of linen, which is a uh, softer one. So, um, so I was really kind of conflicted. I, you know, it'd be gorgeous and it'd be like the most perfect piece, but also like I know it blends in a little bit and I was just like, how long is it gonna take me to stitch this piece if I stitch it on this? Um, and there are a bunch of other there are a bunch of other pieces that I want to stitch too. And I can also stitch them on this as well. So 
I am an Ada girl. And at this retreat, uh, Under the Sea Fabrics was there. Leslie from Under the Sea Fabrics and her team. So they were obviously in the vendor room as well. And so I was just like, hmm, let me just go look at the ages they have. So I had looked at a couple of them and was having some difficulty like choosing between the two. And then I asked um, Leslie her opinion and uh, we ended up going with something completely different. So this is 14 count London Fog. And it's just a very um, blue gray, neutral blue gray with some opalescence. And how, I think this is right side up. Maybe not. This might be right. I don't know. It's one of them. Um, this might be right side up. No. I don't know. It's one of them. Um, but that's where I have, that's where I'm at so far. So that's that project. What else? Oh, I showed you this briefly. Okay, so Get Kraken by Ink Circles. Oh, man, I love this. Um, my goal was to finish that, this, during retreat. Um, that did not happen because I spent a lot of time socializing, which is totally fine because, like, that's one of the purposes of retreat, right? Um, I had the, I just had the best time um chatting and hanging out with my friends like you know we go to like lunch or dinner it'd be like two hours um so it's totally all good and so I was working on this it's not I mean there's still more you can see I'm really close I'm probably only about 800 not even it's probably like 700 stitches left and then like I have the back stitching right here um it was just getting really difficult to stitch there because um, I didn't have a stand and after a few days of just like trying to hold it and then like getting it to work and stuff, it just, it just wasn't going to happen. It hurt my eyes too much. Um, that was that piece. Um, I did finish a piece. It was a model. So... You'll see that at some point in the future. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I do have... Um... So here, this is a bag from Megan Webb. Um, she is... This was something she handed out. This is... Um... So Megan Webb is from Anchorage. Um, and she currently lives in Anchorage. So it just, she's awesome. Um, we were airport buddies last year and we were airport buddies this year because Seattle's a major hub. Um, and I just think it's hilarious that we're both named Megan, even though, so she's from Anchorage and living in Anchorage. I'm from Fairbanks, but not living in Fairbanks. I'm living in, I live in Washington now. Um, so in here... I have um, the start of Happy Campers by um, Blue Flower. So I started this with Erica of Accio Whips. We started that Friday. This one, I have a lot of frogging to do. This is on 18 Count Nessie by Picture This Plus. Um, because I decided to do it on this piece, right? But I'd already started something else. I don't even remember what it was at the bottom here. So I need to frog that. And I'd started something else over here. <laughs> so, yeah. I need to get my act together with that. And then I put these on. Um, these are floss rings by Anna Seaford. So, this is from Anna Seaford, Seiford. Um, some other ones from Connie and Melina from Count Twice, Stitch Once. And then these, I don't remember who these were from. Um, I'm not going to show everything because it would be a lot. 
um, and I'm sure other people are doing um, videos for all of that. Um, but I'll show a bunch of like random things, not in any particular order, not in any specific like, I guess any specific order at all. Just like if they happen to be right here, I'll show them. Um, if not, um, then I won't. Um, okay, so this is the bag for Lady of the Flag. I need to figure out another one. So I got, I still am putting these all on the proper floss, floss tags, floss, um, floss holders. So this is from, oh man, I'm not going to remember the name. This was from one of the vendors. And I can see her booth. I just can't remember the name. Oh, I'm sorry. She had um, these really cool um, acrylic. This one says bloom and grow. Um, yeah, she had these really cool acrylic things. Um, I got, we got a $10 gift card and had 10 10% off for CC's. Um, that LNS there. So I picked up um, most of the beads and Krynik I needed for Lady of the Flag. There are a couple. There's one set of beads that I need two of that they didn't have and were out. So I need to get those. Um, this is a Grime Guard that we got. Um, and I took the tag off this one as well. This one was, it was given to us by, um, do I have, if I come across it, I'll show you. Um, it was given to us by someone um, at the retreat as well. Okay. Um, oh, we got this uh, Rosewood Manor pattern. Also, that was in, um, that was in our bag from, uh, the Black Needle Society. It came with the retreat. Um, what do I have here? Um, this is some needle. These are floss tags and a needle minder from Jen Tuart or Jen Marie. And it's at Hawks Girl. And the needle minder in here is a gummy bear. Little gummy bear. Oh, there you go. And then I should just put there. That's where all my needle minders kind of go. Oh, and then I have the thing. So this grime guard was from Erica Kolach. And her Instagram is Erica Kolach, spelled K O L A T C H. So it's cool. It's an eight by eight grime guard and it didn't have the thing on it because I used it a lot this weekend. Um, oh, I also got, so I was at a table. My table was Athena from Stitching Goddess Designs, Melina from Count Twice Stitch Once, Connie from Count Twice Stitch Once, Lynn from Lynn X Stitches Creates, except Lynn couldn't make it, but we like had her seat there and it was so funny because, um, Erica and Kevin from Accio Whips were right there. And so Erica would just say, here, hold this one. Here, hold this one. And just whenever she like needed more space or whatever. Um, and then like I would say that a couple of times or uh, I hid. Mel Melina is going to, went to a Taylor Swift concert yesterday um, in LA. So she was making the, I guess the friendship bracelets are really big to make for the Eras tour. And so she was making a bunch of them. And so she had a bunch on the table. So I just like took a handful and put it in Lynn's box. And um, I lasted about 2.5 seconds um, and like trying to keep a straight face uh, as Melina was like going through all of her stuff. And I was like, oh, Lynn has them. She's like, what do you mean Lynn has them? Um, okay, so these are from Erica. And they, oh, Erica and Kevin gave us a um, bag of, of goodies. This is a little mug um, coaster 
What else? Oh, I did bring this mug coaster. This is not from this retreat. This is from Anna from Stitch Roadie. She made this for me, and I absolutely love it. Um, this we got from someone. Oh, and then we also got these from um, Erica and Kevin, and it has a Sprite lip smacker. They all came in all different, um, they are all different flavors. Okay, so next I have this guy um, from the freebie table. It's from Fat Quarter Shop. One of the little macro silicone macarons. Um, I don't really know what these are used for, but it was cute. It was on the freebie table. Um, and ironically, Erica put it on the freebie table. Um, let's see what else. Oh, these were also on the freebie table. There are a ton of Nora Corbett's, um, and there are just a ton of other things. And so I found um, S. Um, so the S and then I'll, I was trying to think like, what would I stitch? Um, what would I do with S? And, um, like I wanted to stitch, it was so pretty, but I didn't know what I would do with S. And Erica was just like, well, S for Scarlet. And I was like, I know, but you know, I don't have T for Tallulah. Um, and she was like, well, you can get S for Scarlet and then buy T later, or you don't get S and then you buy S and T later. But then someone who was there, I don't know her name, um, she was collecting letters and trying to figure out, I think she was trying to like find something to spell or figure out how she would use them. And she happened to have T in her hand. So she heard, in this exchange between me and Erica, she heard that I was looking for T. And so she gave me T. So it was awesome. So now I have S and T and i'm going to stitch those up it'll probably take a very long time but okay let's see what else um yep, these are from accio web as well okay so a bunch of just other things so some of these are um i think we're getting into like stuff that i got from the frogwarts prize pack um so this is um, a Fat Quarter Frozen and 25 Count Lugana, which I'm super excited about because before this retreat, I was like, hmm, I think I need to buy some more 25 Count. So because uh, Primrose Cottage has gotten me hooked on the like two over two. Um, for someone who doesn't like 14 Count and larger counts, I've been stitching on them a lot lately. Um, this is Garden Party by Be Stitch Me, and it's a 32 count linen, and it's so pretty. It came with, um, it's the called for in one of the patterns that I also got in the pack, but I think I'm going to use this for, um, Dark Goddess, the Autumn Lane Stitchery Dark Goddess of the Earth sell um because i have that one and i started it um but i have repurposed the fabric i started it on the fabric i started on is now going to it's not night walks down mm, what's the other one moonlight moonlight sampler i think it's also by blue flower um let's see what else oh these are the flosses from frogwarts oh my gosh they're so gorgeous so these are from be stitch me it's poinsettia here let me i'll take them off their floss ring okay so we have poinsettia Crimson. These are for Gryffindor. Garnet. And then Hufflepuff is Jack-o-lantern. 
chick. And solar. And then Ravenclaw is Mission. Old Man Winter. And Despair. I love that name. And then Slytherin is Evergreen. Oh, Christmas Tree. And Peacock. Okay, so those are from the Stitch Me. They're so gorgeous. And then also from Be Stitch Me, but not um, this was this came with the Camp BNS bag for the this is the called for for the patterns that we got. So crimson. Oh, it's another crimson. Poppy, Slate, Slimy Trail Slug. I wonder if that's, um, uh, what is it? Custom. Uh, because, no, never mind. Slimy Trail Slug. Snails are the Black Nail Society thing. Not slugs. Bone and beehive so lots of fun new flosses um oh my gosh just all the things there's so much <laughs> there's so much um okay so i think that's where i'm gonna call it quits right now i do sorry that's the cat um i do have the i got these from frogwarts as well um I just happen to have them right here, the pens. So these I've already had, these four. So the Ravenclaw common room, Slytherin common room, Hufflepuff common room, and Gryffindor common room. And these are, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I um, have repurposed one of these like letter board things um, to be a little like pen board. I've never had a pen board. Um, but instead of just like, cause these were pens I'd already had. I was like, I don't know what to do with them. So find a pen board. Okay. Um, yep. That's it. That's not everything from this week or this weekend or frog warts or all of it. Um, honestly, I don't, I couldn't even put a percentage on that was probably like a quarter. I don't know. There's just so much. It was a lot. Um, it was so much fun. Completely wiped me out. Um, so exhausted. <laughs> I'm still so exhausted on Tuesday. Um, but it was awesome. It was fun. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.